Now, before we start testing, I've just realized that obviously here uh, in the location uh, variable, I've misspelled one of the characters. It shouldn't be a dollar sign. It should be and symbol. So now that we've corrected this, we can go to our browser and start testing. If we refresh the page, open our Firebug console tab. And now if we type some uh, postcode, again, we can go for British Museum. So it's WC1B3DG. And if we click Submit button, you can see we call this URL with a specific postcode, URL encoded. Then we open the get, and let's see what the result looks like. So we've got our results. If we go back to our editor yeah, and to our core.js, you can see we've got data, which is our array, name of our array. Then we get results, and we take in the first index, which is zero. Okay, so this is the first thing. Uh, then we go for geometry. If we go back, you can see we have geometry. Then we should have location and lat for latitude. There we go. Location after geometry, which is inside of the geometry, and inside of the location we have lat and lo longitude is L and G. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine here. And also, if we go back you can see that our latitude and longitude has been displayed inside of the result uh, diff. So everything seems to be working fine so far. So now let's continue with our uh, core.js file. Now here you can see obviously I uh, have assigned values to the variables by having defined them. We're going to have to define both of these outside of the document ready section. So we're going to type var latitude and var long. And the reason being is because we're going to create one function outside of this document ready, which will need these the values from values from these from both of these uh, variables. But before we go there, let's after this result uh, .html line, uh, let's type dollar sign get script, and we're going to call the following script. Script it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash maps dot google dot com. Then we have maps forward slash API forward slash JS question mark. Then we have sensor. We set to false. Nearly always we're going to be setting this to false. Then we have callback, which is what we want. Which fun what function do we want to call once this uh, specific uh, document has been loaded? Callback will be our, our new function initialize. And that's everything inside of our form map submit call. Now we're going to create our initialize function. So after both of the variables defined at the top, we're going to type function initialize. Actually, let's copy this name because I tend to misspell things. So initialize. There we go. Two curly braces. The first thing we're going to do is var my lat lng just my latitude and longitude, which will be the instance of a new class, Google map maps dot lat LNG. And we're passing our latitude and longitude here. Then we create a variable called my options equals, you can call it actually whatever else you want. Uh, now we are going to create the first one, which will be zoom. We want the uh, map to be displayed at, at, at the zoom of 12. Center, we're going to play with the zoom later on a little bit more. Center, my lat LNG. So it's obviously our position on the map, uh, taken from a latitude and longitude. We want to center this point. Then we take map type ID google dot maps dot map type id and we get, we want the road map to be presented to us okay uh next thing will be map can sorry map underscore canvas the diff which you've created in the first video fade out we want the content to fade out at the speed of 300, then we execute. Once this has been done as a callback, we're going to execute the function. 
And inside of this function, we'll first create the instance of a map. Var map equals new Google dot maps dot map. And then document, we're going to use some JavaScript, get element by ID map canvas and pass the options. So my options uh, as a second parameter. Okay, then we have var marker. So now we're creating a marker for our position on the map. New Google Maps marker. And we're going to put some settings here as well. Position. I want the position of this marker to be taken from my lot LNG variable. Okay, and now we're going to add this uh, marker to the map. So marker dot set map and we pass the instance of our map uh, and then obviously once everything is ready we are going to fade the container the map canvas in so fade in again at 300 so if we save the file go back to our browser refresh the page and if we uh, submit the same uh, the same postcode click on submit we got latitude and uh, longitude, and you can see that our map now nicely fades in nicely actually inside of our map canvas. Now, if I change the postcode to something else, let's say NW15LR, which is Madame Tissot Museum in London. If we click submit, you'll see that the map will fade out, which is what's happening here. Map canvas fade out. We execute all this code, we get uh, the map, and then we fade uh, the new map in. So if I submit this, map fades out, new map has been generated, and the container has faded in. If we zoom in, just to make sure they were in the right place, yeah, Madame Tissot, everything seems to be working fine. Now I have mentioned that we're gonna go back to our zoom parameter and change it. So let's change it to, let's say, eight rather than 12. You see what's going to happen. I submit the same postcode. Submit. Hold on. We need to refresh, obviously, because the JavaScript has been changed. So now submit. And you can see that we can still see that it's pointing in the right direction. But obviously, the zoom, we can see much more outside. So, so the, the lower the zoom, the more of the, uh, of the map you're going to see, basically. It's not going to be zoomed in. If you want to zoom in a little bit more, obviously increase the value of the zoom parameter. So if we increase it to, let's say, 15 rather than 8, and now refresh the page again. Oh, there we go. And now if we click on Submit, you can see that we, we can see the position actually much closer than uh, in the first place. So that's actually everything in this tutorial. Um, any questions, please post the comments under, under this series. Thank you.